Hey friends, it's Lindsay here. Welcome back to another episode of Rags to Reigns, which is our Rags to Riches Legacy Challenge. Thank you very much for joining me. It's been a while, so I apologise for that. But let's get started. So we are back in the Wilder household and I will introduce you to our family if you are new here. We have Malcolm here, who was um, our first sim. He is our patriarch. That's the right word, yeah. Um, his goal in life has always been to become a championship rider. And unfortunately, he is struggling to place at the Ultimate Force Championship. You can only do it once every Saturday. And since he tried and failed last week, our horse Frosty, who he has been working on for years, it feels like, in real time, has now aged up into an elder. So don't know if we'll be able to do that. We have his wife, Lazuli who is over here. Her goal was to become an expert nectar maker, which she has done. Now she's just enjoying life on the ranch. We have Cash, who is going to be aging up soon into a teenager. He's got two days till he is a teenager. And then we have our boy Scott here, who is our heir to this Rags to Riches legacy challenge. His goal in life is to become a scientist and move to the city because he's bored of ranch life. So that is our goal. He's currently in high school and he ages up in 10 days. It is 7 p.m. He needs to earn and keep an A. Is he an A student at the moment? Yes, that is good. And reach level three in his after school activity. So he is in the computer programming team and mm, we might do that. We might not. He needs to do some programming, which he is going to go and do now once he's finished his food. Cash is doing pretty well in school as well. Yep, smashing it as an A student. We're just going to let him age up naturally. And yeah, we've got our horses. We've got Frosty over here, who, like I said, has, I think he's in 10 and everything now. Let's see. Oh, apart from temperament, but temperament's really fucking hard to get up. <laughs> so yeah, Frosty will be hopefully not dying between now and Friday and we can get Malcolm to finally become the ultimate force champion because that would be fantastic. And then we have Daisy May, who is Frosty's mother here, who has birthed all of our horses on our farm. We've had quite a lot. And then we have a new one who is called No Limits Wilder. I think I got No Limits to try to breed with Frosty, but then Frosty aged up and we couldn't, and we've got a full house. And then we have our little pup Nova, who's just sat in here. Um, Malcolm's been going on adventures with Nova, so let's go do that. Get Cash to do his homework if he hasn't, just to get that done. Ooh, who's phoning Scott? Oh, Alexandria would like to come over to hang out. Uh, oh, he's so tired. No, not right now. So he is currently in a love triangle with his school best friend, who was Eliza. And then he also likes Alexandria, and he can't choose between the two. Let's see. Oh, they are soulmates, apparently. Him and Alexandria. And let's check Eliza. Lovebirds. Yeah, he, he's been kind of messing around with both of them and can't decide who he wants. So let me know in the description box if you want him to carry on with one of these when he gets older. Or whether he should, you know, when he moves to the big city, he's going to move to San Machino and becomes a world-leading scientist, whether he should just you know, play the field a little bit. I've not bought the new Love Struck expansion, basically because I've been seeing reviews on it and I'm not willing to pay the money for what essentially should be a game pack, not an expansion pack. So we may get it in the future if it goes on sale, but at the moment, one, I'm skin, and two, I don't think it's worth the money. So we're not going to do that. Oh, he's quite far off this skill. Let's just do this for as long as possible. Has he done his homework either? No, he hasn't. Mm, that's fine. We should be okay. Let's do this for as long as possible and then get him to go to bed. Thankfully, he likes programming now. He didn't like programming to start with. Okay, yeah, he's too tired. Just go to bed then, Scott. Okay, I think that's enough sleep for Scott. I'm going to get him up. going to get him to use the toilet to take a shower, come down, have some breakfast, and see if we can get him to do his homework before he goes to school. No, he's too uncomfortable at the moment, but we will try that in a bit. 
He was less uncomfortable now. Okay, Malcolm, what are you doing? Yes, let's um do some temperament stuff with Frosty. There is so much poo everywhere. Where's my ranch hand to pick up all this poo? Do we need to fill the feeder? That nah, should be right for now. Oh, I totally forgot. We have um, sheep and goats as well. We have Tim Curry, because, you know, curry goat. And then we've got lamb chop as well. I completely forgot about those. Maybe you need to do some stuff with these. What do you want to feed? Are you hungry? I don't know. You're pretty happy. Where's the other one? Where's lamb chop? Oh, lamb chop's just over here. You okay? Yeah, very happy. She has some wool and milk as well. They're so cute. I assume they don't ever grow up because they're just, oh, they're just always going to be babies. All right, how's Scott getting on? Oh, he's having a hilarious time in the bath. That's not what I told you to do. Can you do your homework, please? <laughs> School starts soon-ish. And on Saturday, it is going to be prom on Saturday, but he's decided not to go because he can't decide who to go with. Maybe if one of them ask him. I don't know if it automatically does that. Ooh, why is he thinking of worms? Pet lamb chop? Oh, look at that, so cute. Oh, why are you sat in your parents' bed doing your homework? Hopefully you can get this finished before school, and then you can grab some food at school. Okay, I don't think he managed to finish that, but that's okay. We can grab some food at school. Okay, let's go to the cafeteria and grab some food. Um, what would you like for breakfast? Let's go have a brownie. This school is actually um, James Turner's high school that he built. Because I didn't like the old one that was here. The only thing I did was this was gym, this room here. And I turned it into like an art studio type place and then moved the gym next to the pool. Who is here? Do we know you? Oh yeah, we do. We're quite good friends with them, it seems. Grab a rainbow brownie and go sit here. See if we can get a bit of studying in before class starts. Can we take that with us so we can snack on that later? What's he doing? Why, why are you there? That is not studying for your exams. Why are you in the principal's office? The bell is literally about to ring. Yeah. <laughs> what a class. Oh, he's feeling so flirty. Is that our teacher? Okay. Ooh, New Year's Eve tomorrow. Yes, we attended our exam. Friendly with a student. Go be. Oh, this person does not like us. Let's not be friendly with her. I'm gonna eat your brownie. Let's come be friendly. Come brighten her day. Good class. Here comes our teacher again. Everyone's on their phones. Hopefully we will do well this week. Stella, Cash can surely enjoy the weekend knowing that he's one of the top students in Langrab Elementary. That is good. And uh, there's no better feeling than starting the week as a straight A student. Fantastic. Exams are finally over. The day was grueling and the questions were fierce, but the day is finally done thanks to the quick work of the Scanotron M7, MK7. All of the tests have been graded and the results are out. He aced his exams. A great job. Prom is coming. The dance takes place on Saturday. We've not asked anyone to prom. The one thing we've not done. We're, we're not going to do prom this week. Promise to skip prom together. I agree. Let's ditch prom. That's a pact. Okay, we'll do something with Alexandria tomorrow then. But for now, he really needs to go home. Uh, well, Frosty, what are you doing out here? Oh, and it's soup. And it's soup. He is super, super flirty. Okay, you need a nap, boy. Let's get you to... Oh, Sydney's calling. Um, have you ever heard of something called the motive trials? Apparently they take a bunch of sims and put them... I, I, I see this a lot. But I've never done it. But I don't want him to be gone for a fortnight. So, yeah, no, I'm not I'm not having him do that. Um, can you get some leftovers, please? And then, oh, something is broken in our house. And then can you grab a nap? What is broken? Oh, God, is someone phoning us again? He's so popular. Lucas Munch is wondering if you want to go over to his house and hang out. No, he's hungry and he's tired. Are you going to go fix that sink, Malcolm? Can you repair that, please? Is everyone else in the house okay? Yeah, I think so. Okay, how is Frosty feeling? We need Frosty to be on top bloody form tomorrow because it's going to be our last chance to get the ultimate horse championship for Malcolm. He needs it. We need this. I need it. I can't have him not do this. It's been the whole point of this rags to reins challenge is to have him become the ultimate horse champion. <laughs> He's so far away from getting his temperament. It's been so hard to get temperament up. Is that because it's the type of horse you are? Defiant, I think, yeah. Yeah. It's worth a hell of a lot of money, though. He ain't selling you. He would never sell you. 
Oh, I was not doing any of that to Frosty. <laughs> I'm a fucking dumbass. Do it to Frosty. Do it to Frosty. I can Frosty and Daisy May looking like each other. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, are you programming? Please tell me you're programming. No, you're chatting. Okay, you need to go to the toilet though. Go to the toilet and then come do some programming. You know, it's, it's going to be a scientist, not a computer programmer. Oh, do you want to fix those as well? Lazuli can't stop laughing. That joke Cash has told her was way too good. After being dazzled by that marvellous bit of humour, Lazuli is thinking about jokes. Um, yeah, you can like jokes. Okay, I need to stop doing that. It's very close to nine, but not quite. Now I've got, yes, level four programming for Scott. I need to go to the toilet, have a very brisk shower, and then go to sleep because we need him to be fully happy, fully in greens tomorrow, and we need Frosty to be fully in greens, and I may even cheat a little bit. It's not cheating if it's in the game, but that's the wrong button. Reward store. Um, confident? Do we think confident would go, work, work? Confident or focused? Hmm. Can we have both? Will it make us confident and focused? Yeah, we're going to get confident potion. Yeah, no, we, we will just get confident potion and we can do the confident potion. Scott is still practicing, listening to some music. Maybe he should go to bed as well. Cash is... Um, I go with the dog a bit. Uh, pet the pet the dog. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. Um, uh, what is Lazuli doing? Doing? Can I come chat with Cash? That's good. That's good. I mean, she's kind of tired too. Let's just send everyone to bed. Cash, you can go to bed as well. Yeah, everyone go to sleep. Okay, it is New Year's Eve. Everyone else is up. Let's get Malcolm up. Let's get him to come and eat something. Oh, you feel, oh yeah, don't feel tense. Don't feel tense. Because he's unemployed. So how long? Three hours. Come get some leftovers. Everyone else can kind of just do their own thing for now. Okay, Frosty. Frosty. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, you're practicing jumps. Okay, okay. Um... You feeling you feeling confident? Okay, you're feeling confident. Okay, 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 okay. Drink your confidence thing, please. I don't know where you're going. I don't know why you had to go over there to do it. Okay, you are very confident. Frosty is confident. Okay, I'm going to save right now. Just in case we don't do it, then I can just reload and try again. Yeah, this is, this is all we need to do. Let's find the thing over here. Hopefully we can do it now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. End competition. What we're going to do. Ultimate horse. Championship. Where is he? Dude, stop doing your dishes. Okay, they've gone. They've gone. Now we just wait. I don't want to do anything else because this has broken on me before. So we're just going to sit and wait. And pray. Even if he comes third. Even if he comes bronze. I don't care. I'm scared. I'm scared. <gasps> yes! We did it! We finally did it! Oh my god. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Yes. While you weren't the ultimate horse champion, this time second place is a tremendous achievement. You competed against the greatest and you have proven yourself to be one of the stars. Yes, I'm so happy finally. Thank God, if we hadn't have done it, if we hadn't have done it, this has been taken so long to get to this point. So yeah, aspiration complete. It wasn't easy. No, it was not. Malcolm had to spend a lot of time and commitment with horses and his own horse riding skill. There were numerous victories and disappointments along the way, but finally his dream of becoming championship rider is real. Trait earned. Grand champ trainer. These sims train horse skills faster, sell horses for higher prices, inspire confidence in themselves and their horses when riding and training, and almost always have a good time when riding. In fact, they are so good with a horse that horses have even more fun when being ridden by them. They also can give competition advice to aspiring riders. Yay! Oh my god. Oh my god. We finally did it. I am so happy. Yay! Okay, we need to put this up in the house. Where can it go? It needs to go front and centre over here. 
Oh, it is huge. It can just live right there. Absolutely fantastic. All right, I'm going to save again to make sure that that's okay. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, and is it Cash's birthday, did it say? Is it Cash's birthday today? It is Cash's birthday. Should we throw a birthday party for Cash? Do you have any friends at school, Cash? You have one friend at school that we can invite over. Who's this bitch? Who are you? No, I don't think we will throw Cash a birthday party. We'll get Lazuli to Big Cake. Oh no. And you can have a white cake. Who is phoning Scott? Yes, Eliza can come can come over. And we'll get Cash to invite his one friend Mackenzie over. And we can have a little party. But not an actual party. Five birthday candles. And you can come and blow out your candles, Cash. Yay! So Cash is going to be. Let's randomise it. Hot headed? Yep. And he loves the outdoors. Hmm. What would we like him to be? Well, I think as his brother is going into science, maybe he needs to be a bit more outdoorsy. Yeah, he's going to be a friend to the animals. Oh, look at him. Um, we are going to go into Cass and remove his lipstick. Not that I have anything against men wearing makeup in any way. I just don't want you to. Yeah, he's cute. He's cute. He's cute. Just realised, as usual, I forgot to um, do that. <laughs> so let's all have a slice of cake, shall we? Yay, happy birthday, Cash. How does it work with two kids that go to high school? That's going to be interesting. He needs to set a resolution, doesn't he? Make a resolution. Complete an aspiration milestone. Um, mess around in treehouse. Go give it a go. Ah, oh, Cash being a good boy, tidying up for us. Yeah, they're going to go have a little teenage mess around, as you know, kids do. <laughs> as teenagers do. What do you want to do for this aspiration? Be friendly to a dog or a cat. Where's the dog? Dog is here. Pet the dog. I would love to join the Paragon. No, can we can we clean up all this poo, please? There's so much poo. Oh, Frosty's still training. Oh, that that's that's a weird glitch right there. Can we ask her how she feels about us? Play love, reveal crush. I think we've done that before, and it's never actually done anything. Like I want it to do something. And she stopped walking away. Oh, you're not gonna go reveal your crush in front of all your family. I don't know how she feels about this. Oh, it's just an awkward encounter. Hmm. Okay, she's going. She's going. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, how do we... Um, Savannah, have you heard painting... Paintings at the Romance Festival? Um, fuck it, yeah. Let's go to the Romance Festival. Maybe he will find someone new. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. It's love life. Maybe he will just, you know... When he meet, goes to the city, he will find someone new. Oh, we're here with Savannah. Maybe Savannah likes us. That day. Are there any other teens here? An adult. 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 Oh, we want to paint a painting. Okay. Oh, he is feeling hysterical. That is not good. Do a small classic painting. I don't think he's ever painted anything in his life, but we will give it a go. What is he painting? Like a cornucopia. Okay, put that in your inventory. Let's go chat with this woman. Ask about our romantic destiny. Is this, is this, is this good? Is this good? Some say love will tear us apart. Some say love will keep us together. You must decide for yourself what you believe. All right, thanks. That's very informative. Let's ask about our romantic destiny. Where, where are you going? Vibration show a tall dark stranger in the, in the future. All right, pour some tea together. I got amazing co compatibility with Savannah. Should we ask her, her some things? Um, ask her if she's single. Ask about romantic interests. Ask about your romantic boundaries. Maybe he's got a new girl <laughs> in his sight. He's such a player. I did not mean for him to be a player at all. I meant for him to be just this just geeky guy. She's single. Oh, we've learned her. Um, She's not interested in romantic relationships. Interesting. Romance none. Interesting. 
everything triggers jealousy. Everyone's just really fucking jealous. Maybe she would have be our bestie then. Yeah, they're just buds. I like that. Okay, I think we're gonna go home. And then we can do New Year's Eve with the family. Yeah, we're gonna end that early because we completed it. We'll go home. Okay, dude. Go to the toilet. Actions. Form a group. Everyone. And then come and... Yeah. Good night. Yay! Happy New Year! And just like that, it's over. <laughs> oh, how anticlimactic. Um, do you want to come and apply a fa facial cleanser or something? Try to get your um, acne under control. Oh, that is a dirty dog. You need to give Nova a bath. All right, and they're just going to sit and have, you know, a nice family chat. All right, well, I think I'm going to leave that episode there, guys. Um, very successful. Oh, uh, we have a ghost horse. We have Napoleon. <laughs> Yeah, successful episode, guys. Malcolm has finally become the ultimate horse champion. I'm so thankful. I was going to be so annoyed if that didn't happen. So now we just need to focus on Scott. He's got one more week left of school to get his aspiration up, to figure out his love life. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys next time.